Hi, I'm Debbie Schaefer, and welcome to Mrs. G TV and Appliances. I'm here with my very good friend, Lindsay Vastola, and she's going to show me and you how to create healthy, wonderful recipes for lunch to take to work. And we get so sick of sandwiches and salads every day, so I've come up with a couple quick, really simple recipes. Um, it's really important to have a good, nutritious lunch, give you a lot of uh, energy, keep you busy throughout the day, keep you full and uh, satisfied. So I'm going to do a couple um, what I call my super energy, high protein uh, bean salad. Um, with some great fresh vegetables. One of the things that I always hear is one of the most frustrating parts of eating fresh good food is that when you buy food, yeah, vegetables and eating healthy may seem more expensive, but it's more expensive because those foods don't last very long. So a key component, a good part of uh, eating healthy is making sure that you store it properly. So I know that that's sort of your forte with, with Mila and one of their new refrigerators. So if you want to talk a little bit about storing it, I'm going to prep a couple things. And oh, that's a great idea. Well, I'm so happy to have Michael Taylor here from Mila. And he's going to talk about what a wonderful refrigeration called the Independence Refrigeration System that Mila has. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, one of the really nice things that Mila does right now is our independent series has great lighting. So the first shot here uh, will show you some great attributes of all the food that you're storing. Uh, but like Lindsay had said, we want to talk about preservation of food. The biggest thing we want to highlight today is Mila's Master Cool System. Mila's Master Cool System, what it does is it allows you to preserve the foods best needed. And what I mean by that is it allows you to regulate the humidities and temperatures best needed for those areas. Right here we've selected the middle drawer and we're storing our cheeses and also our uh, chicken. So we have meat and dairy selected there to best preserve the humidity and temperature needed. Uh, below that we've also stored some other items here. The items that we've stored down here are all vegetable items. And again, the biggest thing now, if we're going to make this um, If we're going to make this investment in uh, good quality foods, we want to make sure they're preserved for a long time. So this master cool system will regulate the humidity and temperature best needed to store and preserve these foods for a long time. Well, I also know that for the customer, when it makes it so easy, that's what they want. And again, it's just already calculating the temperature uh, for your foods. So for instance, if you wanted to switch out uh, and use it as fish in there or in vegetables, you can just change it and it will already calculate the temperature for you. Very easy to use. And a nice thing while we're talking about the refrigeration, all the shelves are completely adjustable. So these shelvings here are adjustable that we could raise and lower them depending on what items we're storing. Also to the flexibility as Lindsay's cooking or said we were cooking, all the drawers can also be taken out and removed. So a real nice thing about flexibility of the refrigeration series. Uh, this really is built for the customer. The customer really has a lot of nice user-friendly features here. The control bar is at belt level height, so the controls are not high. Um, all the shelving is very lit, as we can see that, so there is no dead spaces. All your food that you are preserving, you will be able to see. And not to mention, all the drawers are full extension. So if there is ever any cleanup needed, these drawers are easily accessible, but also full extension. And I love the, the beauty of the refrigeration as well. These are, uh, again, called independents, and what's, how they came up with that name is because this is actually two separate units. This is a refrigerator and a separate unit for the freezer, and you can add it together for different sizes. And again, very integrated so that uh, you, you see the stainless steel panels that are on here, but uh, if you put wood panels on here, you would never even know it was a refrigerator. It's just fabulous. And then the other great thing about it is you can hear how quiet it is. Absolutely, I would say, the quietest in its class. Another big key point, too, is also the energy use guide here, too. Mila is off the charts on that. We do have a dual speed variable compressor uh, that allows the sound to be lessened, just like Debbie had mentioned. Not to mention one of the big wow factors of this refrigeration is we have a new system called Remote Vision. Remote Vision actually allows Mila at its Princeton headquarters to monitor this refrigerator constantly. So if there ever was anything wrong with the compressors, if there was ever anything wrong um, with any of the unit, I would actually monitor that back and forth through Princeton through an internet uh, source. So this refrigerator is constantly monitored by Princeton. You will make sure that your food is preserved for a very long time and also uh, maintaining that freshness. 
So Lindsay, why don't you just come over here because Lindsay gave me a little bit of a shopping list. I did. What's very healthy um, for me to have um, to create my own lunches and bring them to the store. So why don't you just go through some of the things that we chose in here. Absolutely. So if you were to look at sort of an ideal refrigerator and what would have in it. It would be really green. It wouldn't have a ton of foods with nutrition labels because it's all natural good foods. That's why it's important for the storage so that it lasts. So some really good sort of staple items I always keep in my refrigerator. Hummus, great staple. You can use it on sandwiches. You can use it obviously with your veggies. Greek yogurt, the best yogurt you can have. Low in sugar, high in protein. You've got to be careful of a lot of the other brands as well. Um, almond butter or natural nut butters a nice skim or 2% low fat milk. In terms of cheeses and things, Parmesan, um, goat cheese is a good one. Keep, you know, good lean meats on hand. They're easy to cook. Lots of flavoring and of course your vegetables. Um, I always keep baby spinach. It has a ton of fiber. You get a lot of great um, great nutrients with spinach. And then just quick and easy vegetables to cook. Um, in terms of your freezer, I actually buy when I buy my nuts, I always want to buy them in bulk. It's cheaper that way, and I keep them right in the freezer because it keeps them fresh, and they never really freeze because of the fat content. So instead of storing them in your uh, pantry, for example, you can store them in the freezer, grab a handful when you need them, and I, you're going to save money. I never knew that. Yeah. That is such a great they, idea. They won't freeze. You take them, and they're, they're not like eating solid That's rock. Great or anything. So um, garden burgers, uh, veggie burgers or something good. This is um, a great way to keep food fresh. I think that's beeping at us. <laughs> um, but to keep um, your bread fresh is just to keep it in the freezer or cut half of your loaf in half, keep you know some of it out and then the rest of it in your freezer to keep it lasting longer. Keep frozen berries on hand. I always keep frozen spinach. Um, edamame is a really great, really great snack. Um, it's basically soybeans, great for party entertaining too. You just, if you know how to boil water, you can cook edamame. Um, so that's sort of the staples that you want to keep, um, but keep it fresh, good food from the ground, and you're pretty much eating a good, good complete diet. Um, so in those two minutes you guys were going through the refrigeration, I pretty much finished my salad over here so we can I just wanted that. to, if yeah. anybody noticed that the light did go off in the refrigerator, that's because how intuitive this refrigerator is, because it's actually saying you're, we've been open right. for so long, I don't want more heat to go to the food right. so it actually turns itself, it's great the lights off, so saver. it's really very good. Definitely. Yeah. So what I did was we took a can of black beans, 60 cents, this is a very economical dish as well. We spend a lot of money going out and eating lunch. You said, I mean, it can be anywhere from 7 to $15. Um, so a can of beans, I cut up about half of a, you can do yellow, orange, red, green. You've got to be creative. What's ever in your refrigerator? Um, tomato. We in Jersey have those nice Jersey tomatoes. I took an avocado, cut it in half. Always keep the pit, if you have leftovers, a tip to keep it fresh. Keep the pit in with the rest of the avocado. That will keep it green so it doesn't go brown. Um, so I'm just going to scoop Another my great tip I didn't know. I, I, terrific. And I'll, a lot of people just don't know how to how to use avocado properly, and it's so good for you. Um, so you've got your avocado. Um, I used to usually just take a little bit of olive oil. I put my thumb right up on the top there and just kind of drizzle it nice over. Extra virgin. Extra virgin. Okay. Good fat, monounsaturated fat, really great for your uh, cholesterol levels as well. Kosher or sea salt is the best salt. You want flavor to your food because if you don't flavor your food, healthy food isn't going to taste very good. So you've got to find some creative things for flavor. I keep things like crushed red pepper. Um, this is a really good saffron seasoning that you can use. Tabasco sauce, garlic, just whatever your tastes are. Take a lemon, cut it in half, give a little bit of a squeeze. That also helps keep the avocado from going brown. And guys, that's pretty much it. You can put them in a whole wheat wrap. You can use some uh, like whole grain chips you can do with it. But put it in an, in an airtight container. Take it with you. This is probably two to three servings. This is also a great side dish with a piece of grilled chicken or something in the summertime. But really, it's probably, I don't know, a dollar fifty to cook that. And it's just good, fresh, lots of fiber to give you some good energy. So... That's, so that's fantastic. It. Happy eating. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm so I can't wait to start. I, I absolutely am, I want to cut out going out for lunch <laughs> yes. and purchasing uh, my lunch. So yep. I'm going to be making it myself. Just get creative with some new healthy ideas. So I want you to know that Mrs. G's is celebrating their 75th yeah. anniversary, and we're having a big event September 25th. 
in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. And Lindsay is going to be one of our guest speakers. Her company, Body Project, it has such great information about keeping fit, about being healthy, and I'm so excited that she's going to be yeah. part of our big celebration. So hopefully you'll join us. Thank you.